and welcome to Puzzle Pieces. In this episode, I want to talk about the decanting problem, also sometimes called the jugs problem or the die hard problem, after it was featured in the movie Die Hard with a Vengeance. Now, in that film, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson had a five gallon and a three gallon container of water. But in order to deactivate the bomb, what they needed to do was place exactly four gallons of water on the sensor. And to do that, they had to tip the liquid between the two containers until they had the right amount. You may also have seen this sort of puzzle shared in posts on Facebook, or used in other sorts of video games. This example here is from Time Library, from Haiku Games for example. Now, rather than just give you the solution to these particular examples of the puzzle, what I wanted to do was to give you a generalised solution which will work for any example of a jugs problem. And to do that is simply a matter of following some fairly simple rules, as follows. Now, I've seen this puzzle presented in a number of different ways, but the terminology I'm using here is the one which I've seen most often, and that is when you have three different containers in the puzzle. Now, one of these I'm going to call the reserve, and that is the container from which the liquid is normally sourced from. Sometimes it's a tap, sometimes it's a pool of water, or sometimes it's just the largest container, but the important thing is I'm considering it to have an infinite capacity. That means it will always have enough liquid in it to be able to fill the other two containers from, and also you'll always be able to empty the other two containers into it without overflowing. So that's the reserve. The other two containers I'm going to label A and B, and it doesn't actually matter which one is which, you might need to follow a different number of steps uh, depending on which way round you label them, but eventually following this sequence of instructions here should always get you to the solution if one exists. So let's step through those rules and see if we can use them to disarm the bomb in Die Hard. So on the left we've got our reserve which has an infinite capacity from which to refill the other two containers. In the middle we've got container A with a capacity of 5 and on the right is container B with a capacity of 3. So stepping through the rules, to start with A is empty, yes, so we'll fill it up from the reserve and it now is at its capacity of 5. We then go through again, well A is no longer empty and B is not full either, so we'll transfer as much as we can from A into B and that fills B up to 3 and leaves 2 left behind in A. Ok, A is not empty again but B is now full, so what we'll do is we will empty out B. Now I've put empty in through the reserve here, but uh, as the reserve has infinite capacity, it's just like tipping it out on the ground, for example. It has the same effect. Okay, stepping through again. Well, A is not empty and B is not full, so we'll just transfer as much as we can from A into B. And this time, we can actually fit all of the two units across into B without spilling any. So that leaves us with none in A and two in B. This time through, A is now empty again, so we'll fill it up to capacity from the reservoir. And now on the next step, A is not empty and B is not full either, so we'll transfer as much as we can from A into B. Now B's already got two units in it and only has a capacity of three. So we can only pour the top one unit from A into B, and when we do that, we have four units remaining, which is the solution. So next time you need to measure out a specific quantity of liquid in order to defuse a bomb set by a maniacal terrorist, either in a film, an escape room, or in real life, just follow these steps and you too can be a hero.